You're living a lie! Yeah, take it down! You're living a lie! This time is terrible! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most believable conspiracy theories on Reddit. After several decades of propaganda, lies, and official denials, the truth about one of humanity's greatest achievements can now be told. Are we truly alone? Or are we being lied to? Don't just stand there, do something! Help, police, murder. For this list, we're looking at conspiracy theories discussed on Reddit that provoke the most thought, even if they didn't necessarily originate there. Do you ever discuss conspiracy theories on Reddit? Be sure to share your own theories in the comments. Number 10. Modern art auctions are a front. Does anyone really get modern art? Like, seriously, who buys a painting when it's just pure white? And how are these weird non-paintings selling at auctions for millions of dollars? I love, I absolutely love. Um, that's just the air conditioner. Well, one popular theory holds that modern art and art auctions are just a front for money laundering practices. Do you see how I echo money with my brush strokes? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dirty money is used to pay for paintings, whether they're really worth anything or not, which allows rich criminals to launder their cash in such a way that the government cannot touch it. Well, it would certainly go a long way to explaining how the price of art got so inflated. Art sucks! You're living a lie! You're living a lie! Yeah, take it down! You're living a lie! Number 9. Wonka Piercer there have been some crazy connections made between movies over the years, but one of the most strangely compelling is the idea that the 2013 dystopian movie Snowpiercer is really a sequel to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Would you wear a shoe on your head? Proponents of the idea cite numerous similarities, including that both feature characters traveling through a fantastical structure who are then progressively whittled down as they progress through it. You repair his kindness with violent hooliganism. The idea is that the train's inventor, Wilford, is actually an older version of Charlie Bucket, who modeled his frozen dystopia's lifeboat on Wonka's self-sustaining candy factory. It may be pure imagination, but it is fascinating nonetheless. Don't just stand there, do something! Help, police, murder. Number eight, the US doesn't offer free higher education because of the military. While the U.S. offers free public education up to the end of high school, universities and higher learning cost, well, an arm and a leg would be an understatement. Although there have been growing calls for the government to fully fund higher ed, many see it as unlikely for one simple reason, the U.S. military. In the U.S., military service is voluntary. However, it also offers subsidized access to higher education along with service giving lower-income families opportunities they wouldn't otherwise be able to afford. The conspiracy theory states that the government would never fully fund higher education because if everyone had free access to college without the added danger of active service, far fewer people would choose the military. Are you ready to sign up on GoArmy.America? Number 7. The first cosmonauts in space never returned alive. Yuri Gagarin was the first human to go to space, right? Well, some have posited that prior to Gagarin's historic flight, the Soviet Union sent several other cosmonauts to space, where they either died or were captured by foreign powers upon their return to Earth. After several decades of propaganda, lies, and official denials, the truth about one of humanity's greatest achievements can now be told. Given the Soviet Union's secretive nature, it's easy to believe this theory, even though there are several big holes in it. Uh, we have photographs where, uh, where we believe a cosmonaut in training has been airbrushed away. For one thing, Soviet space records have been made available to the public. And for another, the USA was keeping a close eye on the USSR during the space race and definitely would have caught wind of any rocket launches. Even after several decades, CIA and U.S. State Department documents are still classified on this issue. Number 6. Area 51 is a decoy For over half a century, conspiracy theorists around the world have obsessed over Area 51, a Nevada Air Force base often associated with UFOs and extraterrestrial conspiracies. It wasn't even publicly acknowledged until 2013, but one Reddit theory suggests that Area 51 is only a decoy for the real location where the U.S. conducts alien experiments. I got a top secret for you. 
There's no such thing as flying saucers. The theory goes that even if Area 51 has conducted experiments on UFO technology in the past, it makes a lot of sense to keep the public's attention focused anywhere but where the real work is being done currently. Any magician can tell you that misdirection is a powerful tool. The truth. What is going on here at Area 51? What are these black budget projects? We just fly these birds. They don't tell us what makes them go. They engineer them all up in Utah. Number five, the 10-year challenge was created for facial recognition. Social media is full of memes designed to get people to post photos of themselves, but one in particular has been cited as being more than it appears. O'Neill says sharing how we've aged could be mine to train facial recognition algorithms. The 10-year challenge, in which people post pictures of themselves both currently and 10 years prior, has been suggested to have been crafted so as to give facial recognition software a baseline for how people's faces change over the course of a decade. It's very possible that someone else seeded that challenge so that they could capture those two images and use it for whatever means. Although a lot of these photos were already available on social media, specifying the 10-year gap and then placing them side by side would be a lot easier than data mining millions of people. And I think this is a huge privacy concern that people are unaware of. Number four, the FBI starts Reddit conspiracy threads. One of the most meta Reddit theories out there posits that government agencies such as the FBI are actually the ones who start Reddit conspiracy threads. In this way, the agencies are able to better keep track of what the public knows but can't prove, or else they use the threads to discredit some theories by making those that believe in them seem like they're unhinged. This kind of thing has the appearance of being believable because of how easy it would be for agencies to use this method for both information gathering and disinformation. I'm with the FBI. Number three, the Roswell incident was a Soviet aircraft. In 1947, an unidentified flying object crashed at a ranch in New Mexico. While the military has subsequently claimed it was a weather balloon, UFO believers have claimed the object was alien in origin and that the military is involved in a cover-up. Are we truly alone? Or are we being lied to? However, what if the conspiracy theorists are right about the cover-up, but wrong about the UFO's origin? One idea suggests that the Roswell incident was actually a Soviet aircraft that was shot down or crashed on US soil. Some suggest, conversely, that the Soviets faked a crash to spread panic. The flying disc that landed at Roswell had not been sent from outer space, but had in fact been sent by Stalin. The cover-up was to stop people from panicking that America's Cold War nemesis managed to come close to striking at the heart of the country. Number two, pockets versus purses. The pockets on most clothing marketed towards women suck. They're usually too small to hold anything bigger than a toothpick, and whenever there is a piece of clothing with good pockets, it's super exciting. So, why doesn't the fashion industry make bigger or better pockets for women's clothes if the demand is there? One Reddit theory suggests that fashion companies are purposely keeping these pockets useless to sell more purses. After all, you don't see a lot of purses made for men, and they seem to be doing just fine. So if people who wear women's clothes didn't need purses anymore, surely purse sales would plummet, right? Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. The 2018 Hawaii false alarm was a test. No nukes is good nukes? State officials say all of this panic was caused by someone hitting the wrong button. Frozen name is a cover-up. Pay no attention to the frozen Walt behind the curtain. Let it go, let it go. I am one with the wind and sky. Trader Joe's small parking lots. Does this lot make my store look big? Aaron, basically people are saying it's an absolute nightmare trying to park in the Trader Joe's parking lot. They say there's seemingly endless gridlock in that parking lot. Banksy is Jamie Hewlett. Gorillas in the mystery? I like to do it in one go. I don't like to redraw anything. Priceless artwork and documents are fakes. The ones displayed are replicas. The accused forger created lookalikes of some of America's most prominent artists. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, UFOs are flown by future humans. As we've seen, plenty of theories abound about aliens and UFOs. 
but one that's been gaining a lot of traction on Reddit is the idea that the crafts and creatures that some believe exist and originate from elsewhere in the universe actually originate from Earth, from the far future. It would certainly explain why the popular images of aliens look so much like we do, and why so few UFOs have been spotted from space. They never had to leave Earth's atmosphere. By traveling back in time, perhaps these future humans are trying to investigate their past to solve some future crisis, or to stop it from happening altogether. Now what's going on there? History. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.